Hey, welcome to the Parkour Map Project Episode 11. It's been a while since I made one of these, I think, like, two months, maybe? Um, a lot has changed. You will not be disappointed this episode if you decide to stick around. Now, you may notice that in the beginning I made a kind of like a little cinematic intro. That was because I decided that at the start of these videos, because it's mostly just developing a parkour map and they're not really like full Let's Play videos if I don't want to do them, uh, I'm going to have a kind of like a cinematic trailer preview of what I've done for this episode, in between episodes kind of thing at the start. So everything that you've seen at the start of this video is what is new, most of what is new that I've done since last video. So yeah, I'm not sure if I should put like last time on or not, but we'll leave it up to you guys. I think it's fine just as a cinematic trailer, but yeah, new intro for this series. That's the first thing out of the way. The second thing is, well, let's just go through the list of things in roughly the order that they came along. Um, last episode, I don't believe this region right here was... Let me turn off the HUD so you don't uh, get distracted by my little dot. Um, I believe this region was non-existent completely except for these two houses over here. It's turning night time, not on my watch. That's turning on the rain. <laughs> time set zero. Not on my watch, literally. So the last thing was that I made these two houses over here, or something close to this. Um, those of you that watch my videos would probably know of my good friend Alex. Bajiga5, Blast Bajiga, Bajiga45, etc. He, uh, he's got a very similar building style to me. Yes, Minecraft is like, there's really no other way to describe it than as an art. And he builds very similarly to me. Now, this little region right here was built by both myself and Alex, uh, ooh, I think it was well over a month ago now, it's been quite a long time since this happened, but uh, I gave him the map and the texture pack and he set it up on a server and just me and him went to town, literally, we built a town, we, uh, we started over here, I'm not finished yet, there's still some parts, but all of this region over here seems complete as I want to do it. Um, and this part here is just a little incomplete. I haven't finished this up or I haven't done the part at the back and I appear to be lagging a little bit. My mouse is a little laggy at 30 frame rate, but let me briefly explain this, this region. So this is currently unnamed, uh, like everything else in this fucking map. I don't even know what the place is called. Um, but basically this is a very, this is exactly what I wanted from my vision. I just told Alex, you know, this is what I kind of want it to look like. And there is crates everywhere, literally crates everywhere. Like, you can look in crates and shit. There's lighting glitches, but we thought, fuck it. Like, there's really not much point trying to stop lighting glitches from happening because you're not going to have that luck. Also, I don't have you bobbing on because I was uh, building, and it's a lot easier to build with half slabs when you turn it off. Um, so the main thing about this place is just accessibility. Uh, the floor plan for this was basically... Um, there are four levels. Um, the first level is like something like this right here, which would just be floor and the roof. Uh, this is a second level building, and there are only, I think, two third level buildings, maybe? I think two, yep. One here, that's the third level. I'm pretty sure it is. One, two, three. Yep, I can count to three. Good. It's great to, great to know these things and the one over here. So it goes straight down to the floor, this is the outer wall of the thing. It's really hard to show you all this at once because it's like very compact and you can't really get in there to, you know, take a look around and you can't really take a step back because you won't see anything. And this is the only tier 4 building which is uh, Alex's work. He did this actually while I was taking a shit. Just kidding, I believe it was just a piss. And then I went to get a drink and then I came back and he done like all of this. Maybe I had to do something else. I don't remember, but that's irrelevant. He built this tower and it, it looks, it's perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. Um, he's, he's contributed ideas and this was one of mine that he kind of built on as well. Um, literally this is the like Assassin's Creed jump thing that we wanted to have an accessible something just from that tier four. So we want to give the player the reason to get up that tower. Um, and it's actually quite difficult to do so. Um, it looks easy. 
Oof, it really doesn't look anything, but yeah, okay. Um, someone's flushing the toilet, so I'll just wait a couple, to, just just to cool min uh, for the water in the pipes to finish flowing, so I can um, resume this video because I don't like sound in the background. So I'll be right back. All right, where was I? So this is the yeah the region that has not been named. So it's got like its own little nooks and crannies that you can run around the place and do your parkour -y stuff and. There's, you know, like little access points and this crates spammed everywhere, the staircases. It's it's just one big clusterfuck. This is gonna be a little... I, I haven't decided what's gonna be here yet. Maybe an entrance to something. Uh, or maybe just regular houses. But I know that there's gonna be some kind of giant mansion type thing around this side. Uh, kind of on the outside of this wall. But because this, this map is gonna be separated. Let me just move my mic back. This uh, map's got to be separated by lots and lots of walls. Lots of walls. This is the... What am I cursor? This is the... Little mini zone wall kind of thing. And this is the outer wall. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but yeah, I don't want to give too much away of this area. I just want you to know that it is very detailed and you don't need a map because it's very... What am I? What am I trying to say? I don't know. It just looks really fucking cool, and I hope you guys like it because I most definitely do. Alex is very happy with it. I was happy with it. We were happy with it. We kept it. It's very good. Um, I'm gonna have to put some kind of uh, some. I'm gonna have to make a rule book. I realize since last episode, it's definitely confirmed. I'm gonna have to make a rule book. I'll explain why. More reasons in a bit, but rule number one: don't break torches in the map. In adventure mode, I don't know if this is going to change in the future, but you can break torches. Don't break torches. Just don't fucking break them, mate. You don't want to break torches. Butterfly effect. On the other side of the world, a giant torch is going to hit the earth and basically destroy every civilization. So don't fucking take torches. All right. Let's go on to the next bit. Um, what happened next? I, I worked on the sewers. After Alex helped me with that, uh, there's a cow over there. I see you, motherfucker. I see you. I worked on the entrance... Why are there so many cows? What the hell? I worked on the entrance to the sewer. And the sewer itself. Um, this is new. I believe the last episode I showed the entrance to the sewer being like a tiny little hole. Or I didn't show the entrance. Yeah, I didn't show the entrance. It was going to be hidden originally, the sewer. But I thought, you know what? The player has so much shit to do in this map already. I'm not going to make them look for a sewer. So I decided to make the entrance to the sewer big, bold, and obvious, well, not obvious, but this is basically what it is. This is the sewer entrance right here. Um, just by a quick glance, I'm not going to tell you how to get into the sewer entrance. Um, it should be fairly obvious for those that have ever played platforming games. Um, and this comes from that little entrance to the area over there. Comes across this kind of like tunnel bridge and then connects to the outer wall over here. So let's go down the sewer and take a look. We'll have a look at this outer wall in a bit. Right now, I just want to kind of show you what I've done in the sewer entrance. I don't know if I... Sh or the sewer itself. I don't know if I showed you guys the actual sewer. And, of course, people are doing stuff with the pipes. Give me a second. My deepest, sincerest apologies, everybody. It's all good now. Okay, so this is the entrance to the sewer. Not sure if I'm going to have a sign here or if I'm just going to have it like, Do I dare jump down the pit of death? Or some shit like that. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm going to do for this yet. But this is just what I've gone with originally. Simple design of the walkway. Very nice. You can jump up on the railing if you so desire and have a, have a squeeze. <laughs> have a squeeze. Have a geese. Have a squeeze what's outside. That fucking cow, man. He just knows something. Look at him. He just knows. Alright, well. Enough looking at the cow. Let's have a look at the sewer. Right, you want to aim for the dark parts when you jump down here, because I'm not sure in, if people are going to play this map in uh, multiplayer. There might be lag and stuff. Let's turn off the brightness just for this. Um, this map is going to be supposed to be played on moody brightness. You don't have to do that. Um, I know some people don't have LCD monitors, and they have like shitty typewriters and like 1990s computers. Don't worry, I had that for a long time as well. Um, so it may be a little hard to see dark stuff. Like right now, it might be really hard to see this. So just for this video, I'm going to turn it up to bright. So you can see it a little bit better. Um, you'll see that there is kind of like dark and bright spots. You want to aim for the dark parts because you have more of a gravity break. Otherwise, you're just going to hit this too deep pool and you might break your legs and die. And I don't know. Um, dying is probably not an option in this map. Um, 
Ooh, uh, I will explain that later. That's probably one of the last things I have to explain. I'll get back to that. So this is the main entrance, the main uh, room in the sewers, as it were. I don't know if I'm going to have more of these around the place, but I haven't really hidden that much stuff in the sewers, and the sewers are nowhere near complete. Um, but I have done a lot of work in them. I'd probably say they're 50% complete, maybe. I don't know. If I get more ideas for puzzle rooms and stuff, then I'll do it. Um, but yeah, this is the... Once again, don't break torches. This is the main entrance with, you know, broken beams and shit that you can run across to get to different places. I don't know if I'm going to have entrances and exitses. Exitses? Yes, I just said that. Fuck. Um, it's a perfect sphere. 41 diameter. You guys know that from my other videos. I've done that loads of times in so many playthroughs. Um, this is what the tunnels look like. Uh, they have T intersections like this and varying heights of um, elevation. I guess. Um, now, let's give you an example of a puzzle room. I'm going to have a little spoiler here, so if you're going to plan on playing the map... Actually, no, I'll just explain this. So, right now, this light should not be on. There is a button here. Um, it'll turn off. Okay, let me turn my sound on. 40%. Perfect. So... 28%. Perfect. Alright, so... There's going to be buttons around the place that you will find in dark areas. So there's going to be mostly lit lights in the ceiling. Uh, in some dark areas, you may find a button nearby with glowing green. That means it will open something, right? It'll open a door somewhere. And you can hear that by listening carefully after pressing the button. And then the light will turn on. Now, your job is to find out where that door is. Now, you may, you may see a door while you're running through the tunnels you may come across it, and you might see the closed door and be like, Hey, where does that connect to? I don't know. And I've only really done one of these so far, and I'm not going to give away its current location. So, um, like, you may see some interesting shit like this and be like, Hmm, what is this? But, yeah, like I said, <laughs> the sewers are incomplete. Um, let's just have a look at this. This is what it looks like so far. It's just... MC edited, copied and pasted, um, still a lot of design and detail work. I'm going to go to the puzzle room now and we're going to have a look at that. Alright, I have come across the puzzle room, it uses pistons, sorry, I just like blew into the mic, pistons, um, and they are the circular blocks, so you will know when you find a door. Um, this is just a hidden room, like a little, little jump puzzle room, not that hard to do, <laughs> even though I fucked it up. Um, and you may see some some easter eggs, some secrets. I'm not going to give too much away, but there may be more to each room than meets the eye. I don't know. Um, I have designed it in specific ways that the player can go multiple directions and still be rewarded. Um, you can complete the map 100%. Um, but yeah, alright. Let's continue on. So, you can go through there, and that's where the next part of the puzzle room is going to be. Um, and I just haven't built it yet, so there you go. Um, I'm going to find the other puzzle room that I started working on, and I'll get back to you. Alright, I found it. Here it is. This is the next puzzle room. Once again, incomplete. I worked on this, I think, yeah, over about a, not a full month, but I worked on this over quite a long time. Varying degrees of uh, size, I guess, height in the buildings. They're all connected with... All kinds of stuff. You can just find your way around this giant thing. There's going to be hidden chests and shit everywhere. This is just going to be one big clusterfuck of press the button and get to the next area kind of thing. Um, it's all lit with glowstone lamps. I don't know if I'm going to keep that in there, but yeah, I, I think I might. Uh, I was going to open it up to another area, but I just haven't built that yet. So as you can see, I've worked a lot on these things and polished them up fairly well, but there's always going to be more because uh, that's just how it is with Minecraft. I'm just addicted to it. I just always want to build more. Sad but true. All right, let's head back to the main room, which is over here. Uh, this is going to be a shortcut. Uh, the player can get here by flying. No, I'm just kidding. If you fly in this fucking map, I'll rip off your testicles and slap you with them. Um, all right, that's it for the sewers for now. Um, there's a little bit more, but that's basically giving stuff away. So I'll just copy that so I don't type it every time. Um, all right, on to the next stuff. Alright, there's nothing I can do about the background noise, if there is any that you can hear. Um, so you're just going to have to kind of...
kind of ignore that. Just listen to my voice. It's very calming. It's very charming. Very clammy. Very smelly. All right, let's continue with this fucking video. Now, what was I up to? I've gone through the region, gone through the sewers. Uh, next would have to be the Paragon Castle changes. Uh, for like ages, for like half a year, I had the top of Paragon Castle. Uh, I'm, I'm in creative mode. I've been in creative mode for the series for a long time now. I miss zombies mod where I can just zoom around at lightning speed, but I can't do that anymore, so it's kind of really slow when I have to look at Paragon, but I finally copied uh, the... put on F1. Uh, the western side? Yes, this was the original that I stole that from. This side with the nether brick. Um, I finally co got around to copying that and pasting it on this side. So now it's pretty much done up the top here. Obviously, it's like the design is done. Okay, the design is done. Um, yeah, Paragon. That looks kind of weird. Like the, these black stripes. That looks weird to me. I don't know if uh, I might do that on the other towers or not. I never noticed that on the other side. I never look at Paragon from the other side. What can I say? Anyway, more changes to Paragon Castle. I extended these little hexagonal towers upwards and started playing with some of the designs. Um, this was kind of cool, I kind of went with... Um, th this was interesting to do, right? This texture, this brick texture, this black brick texture, is actually bedrock, right? But the problem with that is it's my only black stone that I have in my texture pack for the time being. So what I did was, because I'm not going to be using quartz, in this texture pack because it's way too fucking bright. It's way too bright for the theme that I'm going with. What I decided to do was make the quartz block the same texture as bedrock. So quartz is now like this. That gives me the option to create blocks like this. Staircases, right? So you can't have bedrock stairs and you can't have bedrock half slabs, but you can have quartz, right? You can have quartz. So now I have this stuff. Now, <laughs> this here is actually mossy cobblestone. So I have three different block types that are the same texture in this texture pack, but the player is not gonna care about this because all you're gonna have to do is take the resource pack that I'm gonna have supplied with the map, play with it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to break blocks, you don't have to pick them up, you don't have to put them down, you don't have to know what each block is. As long as it looks nice, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. You, you're not gonna be breaking blocks in this map at all, so you don't need to worry about it. Um, unless there's like a specific challenge, like take this torch and put it down here or something. Um, that's the only case. Now, what else I did with the textures, um, had a bit of a st 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 stutter there, sorry, for, sorry about that. Um, what else I did with the textures was I created these little things. You probably can't even tell what these are. These are actually uh, hoppers. I'm not going to use the hoppers in this map. Oh, I might, I might, but you wouldn't see them. You wouldn't be able to access the hoppers unless you right click them. I don't even have a GUI for this yet. See, I've got like the stone and the wood and everything, and I've done all these windows, but I haven't even done the hopper. I just haven't had time to. So all I did was put the cobblestone texture on the hopper. So now it's kind of got like a little, a little stand, a little connection to the wall rather than just, you know, it, it's got a, a kind of an ending. I could have put just stairs, but it doesn't have that funnel kind of effect from all sides that I like with the hopper. So I really like that. Um, yeah, just, just, I don't know if I'm going to keep the black and the brown tapestry there, but it, it, it kind of works. Kind of doesn't, kind of works. Um, playing around with more designs, seeing how stuff looked, you know, black and white kind of feel, black and grey, same thing. Um, yep, just playing with more designs, playing with light, playing with the way stuff bounces off. This is going to be, I'm not sure if I want to reveal this yet. I'll give you a hint. That's your hint. Alright, so I also played with the actual design at the top of the towers. I wanted to kind of make it funnel up. Why am I using the word funnel so much? Funnel, 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 funnel. I wanted to kind of have it indent and then extrude. There we go, extrude. Kind of like how these big hexagonal tur turrets, really, towers do. They kind of come up and come in a little bit from the side. So that's what I did with these little ones as well. Um, play with redstone torches. You'll notice I'm lo losing. Mm, I can't speak today. I'm using a lot of redstone torches because I want the map to be dimly lit. Dimly, dimly lit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. 
Time set 14,000. Let's go with that. I want the main focus of the map to be inside the city walls. I don't want it to be up on the top of Paragon. I don't want it to be outside the walls. Um, but yeah, this is what this place looks like. So yeah, I'm saying I'm saying this place looks pretty fucking good. Just saying, like that. Just saying that it looks pretty damn good. So you got like the little red, kind of like the demonic eyes in the darkness atop Paragon Castle, always watching you fail that miserable two-block jump in the military camp. They're like, ha ha ha! Look at this pleb. Anyway, on to the next bits. Um, after the Paragon changes, I moved on to an armor system. Yes, an armor system for this map. I know it's a little lame, but deal with it. These are the armor sets that you can get in this map. I realized that Feather Falling stacks with itself. If you wear Feather Falling pants and Feather Falling boots at the same time, you have... you take less damage than if you're just wearing pants. I did not know that other bits of... I knew other bits of armor could have Feather Falling on it, but I didn't know if it actually stacked multiplicatively. Mul multiplicatively? Fuck that word. If it's stacked with other stuff, and it does. So, I have 16 items here that are going to be found in chests, that are going to be found in chests around the map, that you can, that the player can wear. And once they stack them up, you, they may get Pulse Tabi, Tabi, I don't know, and um, combine it with Feather Falling 4 Annex Mask, and you get Feather Falling 5 right there. So, if you get a full Annex set, you should be able to jump off Paragon with no problems. I haven't actually tested that yet. I might try that at the end of the video and see if that happens. Um, but the first the first uh, tier of armor is the Pulse. That's the Pulse set. This is the Shock set. This is the Quake set. And the Annex set. Annex has nothing to do with the rest of them. <laughs> it just sounded cool. Um, I believe you start with a Pulse... Yeah, Pulse boots. So, wait a minute. Pulse boots. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 that is the old version. Let me just fix this on camera while I'm doing this. So let's get of, get rid of a block that we don't need. Uh, that, alright, let's take the Pulse Tabby. They've got their own original names, so you don't... Uh... Alright, that's good. Yep, yeah, fuck those Pulse Boots. They've got their own original names, so you can kind of like... Yeah, just... It, it just looks cooler, alright? And I still left the anvil here from when I was doing it. But... Yeah, that's going to be around the place, and you're going to stack them up, and you're going to get really good feather falling. It's going to be awesome. Enjoy. You're welcome. Autographs later. On to the next thing, which I believe is the outer wall and the towers. Man, I did so much work since the last video. You'll have to forgive me. You'll have to forgive me. But this was a lot of work. This took up like a month of just doing the outer walls. I didn't expect to spend so much time doing it, but uh, I didn't even know I was going to do an outer wall, that's why I did it on an island, because really, who's going to swim out in the middle of nowhere? Really. But, I decided to have a boundary. It's not really like a, you can't go on the other side of this wall kind of thing. It's more of a, I am not responsible for any weird shit that goes on outside of this wall. So there could be like, animals for days or something. There could be like, a penis on a sign in the middle of nowhere. I would not be responsible for that. I am only responsible for what goes on inside this thing. Which actually reminds me, on the topic of animals, that cow, and those other cows, and these other pigs and shit. Pigs? I'm sorry, I keep breathing into the mic. Cows and pigs and chickens and everything. Don't attack the wildlife. Rule number two. Number one, don't break torches. Number two, don't attack the wildlife. Please. They keep respawning. I did not know this. They must have changed this a while ago, but animals will spawn on grass if it's there. And it's bright. I know they removed that at one point, but apparently they brought it back and... These animals are driving me crazy. I got rid of all of them, and they just keep coming back. And it's fucking annoying. So, just leave them be. Uh, I don't... I, there's nothing I can do, because you kill a sheep, you get wool, you can make a jump easy. You can place that wool and jump on it, and cheat. So, <sighs> there's really nothing I can do, that, do about that. Um, as long as you're playing peaceful, I'm happy. As long as you don't attack the wildlife, I'm happy. As long as the pigs don't have access to the pressure plates where they set off shit and explode and combobulate the whole map and split it in two, I'm fine with that. Anyway, back to the outer wall. So, let's set this to daytime actually, so we can see what we're doing here. Um, I could just drink a potion of night vision. This, this is a godsend, this thing right here. While I was even in uh, the brightest setting, while I was underwater building these walls, I was like, man, how do you see? And then I was just like exploring one day in my 
inventory and I'm like, ooh, I might drink this. And then I was like, oh my good god, I can actually see what I'm doing. So, word of advice, if you're ever building something underwater, take one of these with you. My goodness, it will save your life. But, different levels in the, uh, this is just going to be accessibility, you know, from tower to tower. I actually did the wall first, and then I pasted in the towers over the top after I built one of them. And then I kind of made adjustments and color-coded them. I color fucking coded them, but that's not even the best part yet. Um, they all have these beams coming out to signify kind of like a boundary type thing. They all have speed two, but whoops, but only, only it's it's like the smallest pyramid. It's only three by three, so you really have to be like within close range. Now the reason they're color coded, you may have just seen. The reason they're color coded is because they're all unique in their own little way. So you can see what color they are from these blocks here, which are actually in my texture pack the new, where the fuck are they, clay blocks. So the stained clay is actually kind of like my little marker version. Um, oh, duh, leave a like if you love clay. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. But if you like that idea, let me know. Just just be like, hey, yo, Adam, that's a pretty cool idea. If not, say, Adam, that's a shit idea. What the fuck are you doing? You're going to need clay for something else. In which case, I will, you know, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, back to this tower. So I've put rugs in everyone. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like this. I, I think I will, but I'm going to change the color of the rugs later on in Photoshop. I'm going to make them less vivid. You'll see what I mean when I get to the orange tower, which I can get to in a matter of seconds by using the teleportation system. Each tower has the exact same teleportation system. The Because I'm from Australia, we drive on the left-hand side of the road, which means if you want to get to that turret over there, you have to go to the left. So that that tower over there is purple. You can't really see it from here, but it's purple. So you've got a little rug, and you've got a little rug, and you've got a pressure plate on each one. So if you want to go this way, you go to the left one. So that'll take you to the light green one. And likewise, the yellow turrets over there. I keep calling them turrets. Fucking League of Legends, man. The uh, towers, and yeah, it, it's got a symbol. It's got like symbolization for what color the tower is. Um, and yeah, that's, that's really all there is to it. Uh, you get teleported depending on where you want to go. So, want to go to the orange tower? See, the purple is way too vivid. Um, and so is orange. Like, ah, my eyes! It's ugh, ugh, it's terrible. Um, I need something more like this, kind of like a pale brown kind of thing for my orange. Um, because my texture pack is very grim dark. Very dark and edgy. Very edge and grim. So, that's, what, that's the way I'm going to keep it, and I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm speaking heebie-jeebie. Um, black is fine. I'm fine with black. White's a little bit bright, but not much you can do about that. And I think I'm subconsciously making, like, the, the sickest fucking raps ever. But, yeah, everything has speed too. Uh, everything's good. Uh, this th That's how it works. So if, so if you want to get around the map quickly, if you want to get from point A to point B, and point A is one corner of the map and point B is the other corner, don't walk. I mean, you can walk through the map if you want to and explore, uh, explore and shit. But if you just want to get straight there, I wanted the player to have to not walk around, or run around, or be extremely slow. I wanted to give them the fastest route there, and even though this is a parkour map, we all have to cheat sometimes. So, this is my way of saying, good job. Or something. I don't know. But anyway, this is color-coded, uh, because I had to make the, uh, wall taller here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like this. The player can't actually get stuck in these little areas, because it's like, oh no, it's two blocks high, how will I get out? But he can just go, like, up here, and then... If you're not a retard, you can jump out, like so. So there's really no problem here. Um, that's fine. Uh, yep, that's pretty much it for this. Redstone torches, keep it dim. I'm going to let the player explore. I'm not going to show you everything, um, because that would take just way too much time. Now, the reason I showcased this lighthouse as the last clip in the little cinematic trailer at the beginning, I might change it. Just a quick note about this. I might make this bigger, because everything that I build around it appears to be bigger, <laughs> much bigger than I anticipated it to be. So I, may, I might make this, I might remake this later on. Um, uh, I might build it in my planning world and then copy it over or something, because... I mean, this is a nice lighthouse, and this kind of works, but with these towers right here, for the sake of continuity and the fact that, you know, if I were a ship and I was coming in... Let me just get rid of my um, night vision, because the underwater looks weird. That's better. So, like, you can't really see the lighthouse um, if you were a ship, and it wouldn't really serve much purpose, because by the time you see the light, you've probably crashed into that wall. 
I don't know, just just a little pet peeve kind of thing. Um, let's see, is that it? I don't think that's it. It could very well be it. Um, Paragon, Sewers, I added a gravel path over here, but that's pretty much it. Like, it's nothing major. I was going to add a, or rather, an additional, kind of like a bonus stage. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I'm thinking in the middle of an ocean, like far, far away, and the only way to get there is to find like a secret room with a command block that teleports you there. That'd be kind of cool. Or like at the end of Paragon, have like a reward stage, like the very first Crash Bandicoot. Dun, 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 That's not how the music goes, but you get my drift. Um, I'm going to build something here. I don't know what it is yet. Some sort of cave course, maybe, perhaps. Got a little path that you may have seen before uh, that just stems from this little area here. I'll let you figure out how to get in there later when I release the map. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, a lot of these design, these designs are actually of Alex's. I don't know where Alex drew inspiration from, but he kind of does the steampunk kind of incorporation with the lamps and everything like that, and it, it came came out really well. Came out really well. So I'm very proud of him. Um, and these little beams are all three blocks apart, so. I was about to say, so you wouldn't have any problems jumping across them, but I just fucked up, so. My argument isn't valid. I might put something here, like some crates or some shit. For now, it's just a staircase to the top. Um, the weather station is still there. I haven't added any more weather stations yet. Um, yeah, I still have to add a lot of population in here with buildings, and I have to uh, add some across here. And I have to be careful with how this works. And I, it's funny... I built this road up and around here, and then I built it down there, and I was going to build something in here, but then I ended up just building like a massive thing here with a friend, and I didn't even finish what I was going to do there, because I have no idea yet. I don't know, maybe the, maybe there'll be like an underwater, uh, not an underwater, silly Adam, an, uh, a cave, like an underground thing that connects to the cave over there maybe, and it comes out here. That'd be kind of cool. I like that idea. Good idea, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Stay cool. But, yeah, that's... I'd say that's pretty much it for this episode. Jesus, I have no idea how long this has gone on for, but my voice is actually sore. I, I, I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but when you eat chips or, or crisps, I guess you call it in America, the, uh, like the the thins, the lays, the kettle, the the sharp ones in a bag, ninety percent air, ten percent chips. Um, they really cut my throat up, something bad, and it fucking hurts, man. I've got ulcers under my tongue, and that's irrelevant. But just to let you know, my voice has been hurting like hell this episode, so. <sighs> yeah, that's 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 my dose of bitching for today. Um, but yeah, just to let you know, this map is coming along perfectly. Do not fret. I'm still working on it. I'm still massively interested in it. And um, I haven't abandoned it at all. Just because I don't make videos that often doesn't mean I'm not working on Minecraft. I love to build. I love to build. It's just making videos sometimes are a bit of a hassle. And um, yeah, it's a good... It's a good... Um, it's a good kind of vacation type thing but I hope you like what I've done so far on the map and uh, yeah I'll see you next time whether it's in a month or or a week uh, it's probably a week but it'll be another series the next time you see this map it's gonna be very different so get a good look at it and I'll see you guys next time peace <laughs>